Hi everyone, I'm Parker, and for my Humanities Final presentation, I will be presenting on the idea of self-love and how it's very important to have when making creative expressions. Throughout this project, I found many different examples through different types of media that go hand in hand with my topic sentence. The topic sentence that I chose to explore was, the love of self inspires humans to make creative expressions from their experiences through music, poetry, and film. I would first like to start off with music. In today's society, many artists write their songs based on things that have happened in their own lives that have taught them some pretty incredible and valuable life lessons. After scrolling through many, many songs, trying to find one that relates to this topic of self-love, I remembered a song that really hit home and brought some emotions to me when I was younger, struggling to fit in with others. This song is written by the artist Selena Gomez, and it is called Who Says? For those of you that don't know, according to Selena, this song was written to all of her fans. She wanted to create a song that inspired those struggling with who they are, explain the importance of self-love, and inspire them to embrace who they truly are. Throughout this song, she uses the repetition of the words, who says, to really get the listener to think and reflect on who, whose opinion really matters most. And the one that should is the individual's. This song explains the importance of being confident in your own skin and being proud of who you truly are. This is a true example of a creative expression made by Selena because she knows what it feels like to not fit in. And through these feelings, she was able to create such an inspiring song to all of her fans. Another example of how self-love inspires humans to make creative expressions from their experiences is within poetry. Erin Hansen is a poet who has written a poem called A Poem for Our Daughters. She knows how girls today struggle with being themselves and knowing who they truly are because she felt this way when she was younger and so does her daughter. Erin starts this poem by listing all of the things that do not define an individual. These things include things that one can physically see or have, such as weight, age, name, and hair color. So many young people think only of their flaws and imperfections and think this is all that is to them. However, this is not true. Erin then goes from what does not define you to what truly does, which are the things inside of you. For example, these include your beliefs, your laughter, and your smile. This poem was a true reflection on the humanities itself because many people are struggling with the idea of individuality and think so poorly of themselves in today's society. Through Erin Hansen's own experiences, this fe feeling this way, she was inspired to write this poem to explain how everyone is beautiful in their own way, which makes every single person unique. The last media that directly relates to my topic on how self-love inspires humans to make such creative expressions from their experiences is through film. Many of you have heard of the film Matilda. This film shows a very positive message that is given to its viewers because it promotes the idea of having self-confidence and really shows the importance of staying true to yourself. By watching this film, one can see that Matilda is very different from others. And while at first this seemed to bother her quite a bit, she later realized that it's okay to be different. Matilda learns to love who she is throughout the movie and to accept her differences. Instead of beating herself up about them, Matilda chooses to embrace them, and this just goes to show how it is okay to not be like everyone else. By learning about how society wants people to be and act a certain way and lower an individual's self-esteem, this incredible film was able to create and show that we do not all have to be the same and that we need to be able to accept things we cannot change like Matilda was able to do. To conclude, through this project, I was able to find three different medias and see how they were related to the topic of self-esteem and making creative expressions. With music, artists are able to tell a story through songs about their own personal experiences and make their own special creative expressions. With poetry, poets are able to get words across the page that really stick with the reader as they think and reflect on their own lives. And lastly, through film, it is easy to obtain a specific message that will help the viewer better understand what is important in their own lives. 
In my opinion, the idea of self-love is something that everyone should know about and have. Because this, with this, we are able to create some pretty incredible things. Thank you.